What is up, bros? With Josh here in today's video, we're going over some Jean Bart gameplay. This is a ship that I really, really love. If you haven't gotten this, first of all, I get asked this all the time. Just kind of a quick little tidbit here. A little wasn't even planning on talking about this in the video. I get asked all the time: Should I get X coal ship, X free XP ship? Mainly coal ships because that's the currency people kind of save up for for a long time. I still think to this day, now we have the Georgia, we have a couple other ones coming out, the Oshino, all these kind of ships that are available for this coal. I still think to this day, Jean Bart, if I were to start a new account and finally got enough coal, I still think it's the ship that I would get first. I have so much fun in this ship. I find this ship to be so good and just an amazing credit earner. You'll actually see how many credits we earn in this game, how powerful this ship is, and just honestly how much fun this ship is. I really, really enjoy this ship. I kind of get that question asked a lot on Twitch mainly. Um, if you guys want to come check us out, we play all these live on twitch.tv slash me, Josh. Come check us out, ask whatever questions. But I get that question asked a lot, especially with the Georgia right now. Two tier nine battleships, which one do I pick? And I still think if I were to start a brand new account, I would probably pick the Jean Bart first. Definitely worth picking up if you can. George is still very good, but Jean Bart there. But one of the main reasons I wanted to go over this video and this game was because it's a really good comeback and it kind of shows how much potential uh, the Jean Bart has for making a push and being a threat to the team and, or threat to the enemy team and could actually have a, just a giant impact on the game. Although I have a bunch of videos like this, but this is actually timed pretty well because World of Warships just announced the upcoming premium commander for the french line and his name is going to be philippe and i'm going to pronounce this as correctly as i can i was told by an eucc this is the pronunciation i am not french so obviously i'm going to slaughter it uh, i'm just gonna call him philippe throughout the video but uh, i believe the last name is abuano i believe i probably said that completely incorrectly but still that is how i will pronounce it i'll just call him philippe but he is going to be in the upcoming patch there will be obviously with the french destroyers there will be a new entire you know event based around the french dds a new campaign i believe um and some missions obviously and at the end he is going to be the reward kind of just like how we saw the halsey as well as yamamoto both amazing captains but the thing that sets this apart is this captain is looking to be pretty insane when it comes to his bonuses now wargaming is constantly trying to think of new unique ways to make elite commanders i think this is a really cool thing so he's beating up on my poorly armored uh poorly armored john bart but the they're constantly trying to make these new captains we're seeing new stuff like the latest russian captain things that aren't just straight up if you get x achievement so kraken like yamamoto has confederate like halsey has these ones are kind of just there to be there and this is another one that's really like that and even more unique than the the latest uh, russian captain so those things are though flame of the revolution Every, each time uh players get a ribbon for capturing or helping to capture a controlled area the chance of causing fire by main battery shells increased by one now this obviously isn't going to be big for either the cruisers or the uh, battleship but this is definitely going to be a good thing for the french destroyers and i love this that it's promoting kind of this i would say a bit more like the russian line a bit more of a damage farming line getting close to caps i like that it's going to incentivize people i think this is this game has a meta if you will that is very passive and something that anything that permit or promotes going near caps i really enjoy but this thing could be pretty nuts as being a destroyer now you get one, two, three caps a game. It's only 3%, but still, it's a nice little buff, and you don't have to do anything else really out of the ordinary to really do it. Now, fully armed. Now, this is the thing that really kind of caught me off guard. These next two um, kind of caught me off guard is going, holy shit, pardon my, pardon my French, if you will, but holy shit, this is going to be so good, so good for battleships, and mainly the French ones, the higher tier ones, but ships like the Jean Bart, which I'm playing right now, and the other ship with a reload booster, specifically the Borgonia, which is the tier 10 steel battleship, which is basically a Alsace with a reload booster. But fully armed, activates with obtaining the devastating strike achievement and reduces the reload time of ship armaments. Now that is secondaries, AA, as well as main battery by 10%. That is is absolutely nutty if you have ever played and this is also going to be good for things like the you know dev strikes obviously destroyers with torps cruisers with the reload boost as well i would say cruisers not so much because your damage even with the reload booster tends to not be quite as good uh well it's it's still good but not quite as bursty um 
unless you find the poor little Minotaur or Eddie or something like that, then maybe. But Destroyers, obviously, with the reload booster um, and the, the Torps going out, could also be, I guess, decent. But Battleships, it's kind of crazy. This thing, if you are catching a Cleveland that's sailing broadside, a Seattle that's sailing broadside, uh, you know, the reload booster, because it's time-based with that, you could, you know, knock out plenty of ships if you're getting into a brawl with the Battleship. Those reload boosts, the positions for those, and to get the ability is higher uh, with the is higher with the battleships than I would say really anything other anything else. So ten percent is pretty big. This is going. This made my eyes get pretty big. I tweeted it out the other day. People also seem to be like, "Whoa, holy crap!" So this is a pretty big buff here, and could really be. Um, something that you could get potentially early on a you know a cleveland as this guy's sailing broadside um as you see me pop the reload booster if i were to, i don't know if that would quite be a dev strike right there um but still how many times have we played one of these ships and gotten a dev strike so it doesn't happen every game i know that but still 10 percent, pretty nice and that's on all the armaments and then on top of that something else and as you see in the top right corner right now we are at 1.2 million potential damage this is something that french ships in general tend to get a lot of destroyers as well but this is just another passive buff speed and endurance increases the ship's maximum speed by five percent for each million of potential damage so you're going to see this throughout so instantly we would be five percent faster now what does this mean that means that a borgonia or a jean bar has the potential if you are getting shot enough to have the speed of a kabarovsk and i don't think that really even includes the speed boost, which is on this, and that's insane. These ships are already some of the fastest with speed boost. They are the fastest battleships in the game, and they have 5, 10, 15% faster. I mean, already we're 8 minutes in, we're 5% faster. A few more salvos, and and we're 10% faster. That's That could be 4 knots or whatever with, with speed boost. 3, 4 knots on top of that. That is absolutely crazy very exciting but man when i first saw this i was like all right this is going to be something that is is definitely going to be nice and then they say that the talents won't work for clan battles that's pretty obvious um there's a majority of them that are kind of based off of uh of achievements and achievements don't happen in clan battles um but they are available in all the rank battles and then uh but they weren't won't work in clan battles so i think that's pretty fair and then besides that, this commander has one improved skill, survivability expert, uh, which uh, obviously it's based around the, D the DDs. Um, so, you know, get a little bit extra life there. That's kind of nice. You probably will run in on most of the French destroyers because they don't have smoke, so you need as big a health pool as possible. But yeah, you're probably going to be um, wanting a little bit more life, and this one already has that. And they even state, so this is something I kind of thought kind of interest, um, increases the ship's hit points by 400 per level and aircraft by 30 200 iq do we have a uh, french aircraft carrier line coming who knows now are they just doing it to say like hey we have that um it's going to increase the same thing just like normal survivability expert but maybe are they hinting at a french aircraft carrier line i have no idea so um but uh, it, maybe it'd be kind of interesting and here you kind of see me um, getting picked on by a Freddy. We're just going to kind of push up and do what we can and actually use this reload booster to get us this fight. But at this point, we're going to do, start doing French things. But imagine being 5% faster, soon to be 10% faster. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's a cool buff, but, you know, obviously more focused. A lot of this uh, captain stuff is more focused for towards the DDs, you know, getting caps, dev strikes. Um, you know, speed endurance, sure, that's more focused towards the destroyers, but you have to kind of think of this as being a battleship captain. That's the first thing that came to my mind, um, is this is going to be my go-to Jean Bart Borgonia captain. If you have those, this is going to be extremely strong. So definitely going to be worth it. So this will be in an event, uh, probably won't be too terribly tough. Uh, majority of those really aren't that big of a deal. Um, you can get through it. Probably going to need a tier 8 or higher to get this. Um, as you did with uh, both Yamamoto and Halsey, you need a tier 8 and higher. Um, if you had tier 10s, you can make it go a little bit faster. But tier 8s will probably be required for this. And um, down this Freddy goes. So he has secondaries, as do I. But here we get to see. So anyways, overall, let, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this captain. Um, it's To me, it seems like this dude is going to be extremely strong. Philippe. Welcome, brother. You're going to be on my battleship captains, and we are going to be absolutely... We're going to be like a, like a 
a speed boat going around with that speed boost up. I mean, already we're getting to 30 plus knots, and uh, I think we're, we're not even going as fast as possible. So 30 plus knots, we're gonna be going 33, 34. Um, you know, potential of getting three, four, whatever million uh, x or potential damage with uh, going even faster. So 20%, almost 40 knots you'll be running on some of these games. That will be freaking insane. I'm not running the speed boost, so I don't get that extra 5%. Um, it'll be pretty nuts. But um, overall, though, I like the idea of them um, doing these, but I feel like this one might be a little overtuned for battleships. Uh, obviously, when people see kind of the the Koontz, the, the, uh, uh, the latest Russian battleship, it's a bit more of a, how do you say, uh, it, it can be pretty strong in a lot of situations. And is there a power creep coming to... That's another conversation I had with another CC. Is there a power creep coming to these captains? I mean, we kind of... And what I mean is power creep as are the old captains. So are we even seeing Halsey and Yamamoto? Are these ones not quite as strong as the new ones? Usually power creep, that's what kind of people are talking about. Is um, the newer things being stronger than the older things? Um, we see that a lot with kind of mid-tier destroyers right now. The new DDs coming out are much stronger than the than the old ones. And so there we go right there. Even broke his gun. Just a little uh, BM right there for him. But, I mean, I would love to be 5-10% faster right now. That'd be amazing. I would be able to um, be already up at that, that island and this uh, Ibuki wouldn't be able to get away. I'd be able to have a bigger impact, a faster impact um, on this game. I think that's going to be crazy. But... Uh, is this captain going to be a little bit too strong? Uh, we'll have to see, and I can't wait to check it out. Um, that'll be coming in the up, upcoming patch. But still, um, enough about the captain and my thoughts on that. I think it's an interesting idea, but I think they have to be careful with making these captains too strong because um, that is definitely something that could cause a problem with the withs having the without, you know. Um, but luckily, these captains really aren't too terrible of a grind. It will take some time, and they are basically available to everyone that has tier eights. I can only assume they'll do it the same way. They usually allow people um, that only have tier eights to be able to uh, be able to get these as well. So it's kind of a nice little thing, but but still. Um, but anyways, this game though, this game was going one way and then we did Jean Bart things and we're starting to make a little bit of a push. So as you see, the other side is being able to do this. And I kind of gave up firing at the Sabuki and I kind of regret it. I should have kept shooting uh, because every time I was chunking them for about seven, eight grand and uh, I kind of gave up because I thought maybe my team would be able to do it and um, down to 3k but needed to kind of keep focusing on those guys because they're broadside so not only is this a video about the Jean Bart and how I love this ship or the new French captain that was just announced I think it's a good example of what to do uh, when you have a situation like this where they kind of went aside and you're losing the caps just keep moving. That's one of the main things about this. And I see a lot of that where people tend to be pretty stagnant when it comes to this. And, um, you know, I've made tons of videos talking about how people are, uh, you know, they, they are so stationary and they end up kind of losing games because of this. So a good example of something not to do, and I kind of talked my Sims out of it as he was heading towards the Ibuki to chase him down. And I pleaded and begged to him to go to B cap or yeah, B cap. And he actually listened, which was kind of nice. Um, but uh, that's one thing a lot of people do. They see the low, low life ship. They see uh, the, uh, you know, the kind of treat out there, the little prize and 200 IQ, those, uh, those torps right there. Um, but they see kind of this little shiny out here, if you will. They see the shiny. They see this the ship that maybe a potentially easy kill, um, and they kind of chase out there. But they have not really any kind of reference of, yeah, we kind of need to get these caps. It's not so much even about capping caps. It's about blocking caps, which is very, very important. You want to stop what I call the point bleed. And so as you see right here, this lion pretty much just sailed broadside. He was full life when he got into the cap, and now he's, well, you're going to see in a second. Uh, zero life so he went from 100 to zero extremely fast and that Helena is extremely lucky but uh, luckily we have a spot uh, one of the things too is the Azumo uh, was kind of sitting there and as you see I should have just killed that Ibuki when I had the chance but uh, don't worry we will get our revenge because uh, he's been a little he's been a little sneaky snake here this whole game and we should have just taken care of the the Ibuki is actually kind of under underrated in my opinion um, a lot of people kind of give this a uh, little bit, the ship a little bit of crap, but uh, me, I find it to be a pretty solid. And really, these uh, smaller guns that the French tend to have um, are actually pretty good against cruisers of just getting pure alpha damage. 
and uh, he ends up turning broadside a bit too much, and we'll finally get our Citadel that we wanted all game. And we've gone from being down ships, being down caps, uh, being, and then to now being almost in the lead with three caps. Now, I'm pretty much going to die here, but if I can kill this Massachusetts, uh, we'll probably be all right, and we can just win this game regardless of what happens. And down he goes. So, again, Jean Bart being one of my favorite ships, being able to impact the game. But, man, when this next captain comes out, it's going to be able to be even stronger. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Now, I love these special captains coming out, and I love them having unique abilities. But I think Wargaming has to be very careful with them being too strong compared to other things. We see some situations that the Russian captain... If one ship has it and then one ship doesn't, they just have a straight up advantage. Now this, I'm at 2 million, um, 2 million uh, uh, potential damage. I would have, I would be 10% faster. So I would be uh, top speed almost 35 knots. That's faster than some destroyers. I would be able to just kind of chase this dude down. He wouldn't be able to get away at all. And there's nothing he could really do. Um, also, uh, for capping the cap, I'd be firing 1% faster. Um, uh, I think, yeah, we just got the one because I avoided the other. But we could have potentially got 2% faster um, with somebody without it compared to somebody with it. Is that going to be too much? So, again, I love the ideas. I love campaigns. I think campaigns are something in this game that are very underrated. Um, it gives you kind of something to do. This game can be very monotonous. It's very grindy. That's, I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all, but uh, the whole thing about this game is, is having a grind. And so things to kind of make the grind a bit more fun and have other things to do when, and I'm surprised I didn't kill him there, but we left him with 100 life. Um, having other things to do while grinding makes the grind not as bad. So I love campaigns. I love kind of these missions. I love these directives, things to do. And I love that there's actually some pretty cool rewards for doing it with a lot of the events. I know a lot of people kind of make the meme about um, being too many currencies and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we kind of get that. But um, I like having cool rewards like this and then even offering, you know, maybe you'll start playing some ships a tad differently with the, the new captain and, and maybe you'll start focusing on other things. I like having play styles change because of one small thing. So this could be some nice things, but man, I see some of these stats and go, whoa, that is intense. I think my overall thoughts is I, I, maybe some of this only being DD focused and not maybe open to other ships might be a good idea. I'd love to see your guys' feedback on this or if you could change anything on this captain, what would you change? Um, but yeah, I'll put a link down below to the post about the captain. You can check those out and I would love to see your guys' feedback. But anyways, a fun game in the Jean Bar. Again, a ship I love. Monster credit earnings, tons of credits. Obviously, we were running the um, the 200 times bonus, and we were able to get a ton of XP, a ton of free XP, all that kind of stuff. Big game, though, almost 250,000 damage, four kills, just normal Jean Bart things. It's what it does really well. So when we get this captain, it'll be even better, and I can't wait. But anyways, guys, wanted to bring up a cool new topic, kind of talk about a ship I like, and also talk about the captain that is coming in the next update. But anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.